Now, as you can see, the best way to uh, mix the concrete is to put a bag into your wheelbarrow and then bust the bag open with the end of your shovel. Then you may want to uh, spread the uh, concrete out a little bit uh, from, from the front to the back before you put the water in. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to put about one and a half gallons of water, maybe um, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. You'll uh, learn your own uh, amounts as you uh, get experience. A good starting point though is the uh, one and a half gallons. Uh, you can always add water. Um, it's a little more difficult if you have to add concrete. So it's a little, it's probably better to go ahead and uh, mix a little dry and then add water to the uh, concrete as needed. Now as you can see, I'm using a, um, a garden rake here. It's a, a rigid rake with the fingers on it. And what that does is it allows the, uh, the rake to push through the concrete much better than you would with a mixing hoe. Um, so if you use the rake, the fingers are going to drag the water through and it's going to mix the concrete much better. And it takes about a minute and a half uh, to do this from putting the bag in to mixing it, pouring it and mixing it. As you can see, I'm dumping the concrete into the uh, hole, and then what I'll do is I'll grab my rake, and then I will agitate the concrete that I just mixed into the bag that I poured previously to this one. And you'll want to repeat this, uh, this process all the way up to the top of the hole. Now, when you get to the top, your last bag should be mixed a little bit drier, that way uh, the weight of the concrete as it pushes down the water, it will not uh, bubble up on top on you.